Hi guys, welcome back to Divine Lotus Tarot. Welcome to your April 2019 soulmate love reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. I want to send an amazing and wonderful happy birthday to all of my lovely Arians out there. I want to welcome all of my new and returning subscribers back to the channel. Welcome to the uh, cross watchers as well, watching for the zodiac sign of Aries and those with significant placements of Aries in their birth chart who are here as well too. I want to let you guys know that this is a general reading. If you would like to book a personal reading, feel free to click the link in the description box below where you can find my website and book there. Okay. Also, the energies can go vice versa. So you may find yourself resonating with the opposite side of who you're watching for. And that's totally fine. All right. So any other information that you need you will be able to find in the description box below. Make sure you check out my tarot specials listed under tarot specials in the description box below. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So Aries, we have your headspace and energy. Wow, coming through with the devil card. Mm -hmm. So the funny thing is, Aries, as soon as I flipped that card over, the song that came to my mind was I'm too sexy for my shirt. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys are feeling super sexy because it's like your season and you just feeling your energy or maybe someone is feeling that you're super sexy or just like so irresistible and like so attractive. Um, but I'm getting that energy coming through. It's like a very, uh, yeah, that was a message that came through. Like I'm too sexy for my shirt. So I don't know if you guys just really feeling yourselves so much. It could just be because you're in your season, so you're just feeling like, you know, super irresistible, you know, and just super powerful <laughs> with this devil card being here. I'm not really feeling or getting the energy of this being um, anything other than that. I just feel like this is like, representing either you guys are coming through with a lot of charm and sexual magnetism or you're viewing someone in this sense okay now as far as the headspace and energy for your love interest we do have the star card so this is very opposite of you guys headspace and energy but i do i'm just getting a very calm cool and collected type of energy from the individual who you guys are connecting with this month but yeah, so I feel like whoever you guys are connecting with, I'm getting a very calm and cool, collected type of energy from this individual. This individual could also be very spiritual as well, too. Um, I'm just getting like, <laughs> there's an energy, because the way that this devil car is just intensely staring and like piercing, I feel like you guys have it hot for someone like really bad like you guys are really finding someone irresistible like you're like there's some type of essential raw animalism animalistic type of carnal pleasure that you're wanting to fulfill with someone <laughs> With this devil energy here and i feel like this person is just like i feel like this person is just really just into themselves with this star card it's like they're either into themselves i'm just getting a very spiritual and calm and cool cool and collected vibe from this individual aries but it's like they're either into themselves or they're just like really pouring all of their time and their focus and their energy into like some type of work or endeavor. So it's like, they're not really paying attention to you, but this person has your attention though, Aries, but they're not focused on you. They're focused on themselves or like I said, whatever this is that they're pouring their time and their attention into. And it's like, you you got it bad. <laughs> you got it bad with this devil of energy here for whoever this is that you're feeling and you're connected to, Aries. 
And this person who you're connected to with the star energy, they're definitely like standing out. Um, they're definitely standing out to you. And it could be that they also just stand out to everyone as well too. But, but they're definitely like standing out. And I think it's just interesting that you guys have this star pentagram with this individual coming up as the star. So I'm just noticing that, that type of energy. It's like you're super devoted to whoever this is, Aries. I don't know if it's official or not, but it's like there's something about you that's just like very devoted to this individual and i know this is the devil card coming up but i'm just getting in scorpionic type of energy like wanting to like merge with this person like you got it so bad so tough like you guys repping this person in some type of way um because this person i'm sorry this image with the devil card has the star that i'm noticing and then this person energy is coming up as the star. So it's like you're repping this person in some type of way. Um, but it's like there's something about you that's like fully committed and devoted to whoever this is. So as far as how you guys are viewing this individual, Aries, we do have the Seven of Cups coming up. So I definitely feel like you guys are viewing this individual as someone who... Um, you definitely are fantasizing about there's a strong inclination of like fantasizing and i feel like this is definitely getting it's like very strong sexual imagination play <laughs> fantasizing about this individual with you guys coming up with the devil energy so you're seeing this individual like as this fantasy um it's like maybe you always have fantasized about this individual um maybe for some of you this person could be like a celebrity <laughs> this person could be a celebrity with the star card being here because i feel like you guys it's almost like this like irresistible obsession that you guys are having towards whoever this is but you're also like strongly like fantasizing or strongly imagining this individual so either you're seeing this individual as someone who you strongly fantasize about like often or you're seeing this person as um as fulfilling some type of fantasy that you have had even if this is not, you know, always specifically been them. It's like he, they fit some type of characteristics or traits of some type of fantasy or something that you've pictured in your imagination. Okay. Now, how this individual is viewing you, we have the King of Wands. So I feel like they're, they're viewing you as, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so they're seeing you as someone who is coming through as the King of Wands, which for me, I see the King of Wands representing Aries or the sign of Sagittarius um, more strongly than the zodiac sign of Leo. But I definitely see um, this individual as viewing you as being very passionate, um, someone who sees you as, I feel this person sees you as being very attractive as well too. Um, I feel like there's this strong sense of um, ambition and power that this individual sees that you have or that you embody. Yeah, um, you have a very take charge attitude. Um, it's like you see something and you like go for it. Um, <laughs> and it's funny because the way the King of Wands is looking over here at the Seven of Cups is like, you want that. Like you've been fantasizing about that or like I said, that fulfills your something that you've imagined always. But I definitely see this individual as really seeing you as embodying the traits of a, a of an Aries individual. Um, and I think that's amazing. I mean, this person also could be really seeing you as someone as well, too. I'm just kind of getting that they could see that. I don't know if they think that you're very serious. Or they see you as being serious or taking relationships serious, though. 
because of this energy with the king of wands especially how you guys are coming through with the devil energy it's like you know sometimes aries individuals even more so just like fire signs have the reputation of kind of being very uh, hot and passionate um, but that could also burn off very quickly and that attention can be averted to something else very quickly as well too so i feel like that's why this person may be um, kind of picking up on like they don't really know how serious you are when it comes to commitment all right now as far as what's blocking you guys from this connection we do have the four of swords okay with the four of swords i'm getting the message coming through that for some of you it's like you're abstaining from sex okay so maybe some of you are practicing abstinence and that could be what's blocking you from this connection um so i definitely feel like you guys may have retreated from this individual or it's like you're trying to keep your distance from this individual because it looks like for some of you maybe for spiritual reasons you guys are abstaining from sex so i feel like because you guys may see this individual as having you um, have some strong temptation or strong urge towards them, you're kind of retreating from this connection and keeping your distance. And it's like, this may have something to do with some of you guys' spiritual beliefs or practices. I'm sorry, religious beliefs or spiritual practices that you're involved with, okay? But we'll look more into this in a bit. As far as what's blocking your love interest, we do have the Seven of Wands. I just feel like what's blocking this individual from this connection with the seven of wands i feel like this has something to do with someone's standards so i feel like because this person could be highly sought after with all of these seven of wands there could be a lot of people trying to vie to get close to this individual especially if this individual is a star or a celebrity or something like that um but either way whether this person is a star a celebrity or whatnot this person has some type of um, major influence or it factor about them. And I feel like this person is just very guarded um, and very selective when it comes to who they're letting in their space and their energy. Like I said, this person is giving me a very spiritual vibe. So if this person is very spiritual, it could just be that, you know, they have to protect their space and their energy. And it's just like they're very selective about who they get close to or let get close to them so i feel like that's what's coming through is what's blocking this individual for from this connection aries but we are going to stop right there you guys can click the link in the description box below for the um soulmate love reading extended reading um and meet me over there where we're going to go ahead clarify these blockages for you take a look at the action you guys want to take towards each other some romance oracle guidance and advice, as well as some additional helpful messages for you guys. All right. See you over there.